Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, we're going to unbox Battle of the Bulge 1944, um, designed by Dan Forney, published by Worthington. Um, this is one that is a recent release, fairly recent release, was kickstarted by Worthington. Um, first off, I do want to thank Worthington for providing me a copy to show off to you guys. Um, second, and even more importantly, I want to thank all of you who have been subscribing, viewing, commenting, liking videos, uh, all the stuff you guys do. Um, if I just, you know, I enjoy making the videos, I enjoy showing off these games, but if I did it to an audience of nobody, it wouldn't be quite as much fun. So I do appreciate you guys tuning in and, and watching my videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Nice heavy box. I'm sure, you know, it's a new Worthington game, so I'm sure the components will be nice and, and uh, high quality, but uh, we'll take a look at that and tell it for sure. And we'll get that plastic off, so we'll eliminate that glare here just in a minute. I was looking at that map. I like how it looks. People, some people were commenting on like the the trees or whatever on there, the like the representing the, um, the terrain on there, and I thought I actually kind of like the look. So we'll take a look at it closer, of course, when we get it all um, unwrapped. I did notice that the game game complexity is on the lower end, which I like. Um, solitaire suitability is on the lower end. I think though I've read that it is pretty easy to to uh, to solo because I forgot my box cutter. I'm gonna have to try to cut it open here. I think we got it. All right. Um, I think I read that it is pretty easy to solo. You just have to remove the, um, I think there's these optional orders that you can have for the Germans, which I believe are these listed here. So it'd be something like, you know, hey, if you're playing two player, include those. If it's just you playing solo, basically don't include those. And that'd be kind of a standard hex encounter. So just FYI for you guys out there who are thinking, you know, no, I don't, I don't believe it has any sort of solo system. Um, I would have uh, heard about that by now. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, just an FYI, I know, you know, we, we focus on uh, solitaire games on this channel, but we don't mind looking at ones, as long as they're solitaire playable, right? As long as you can push counters around and no hidden information. I'm not a fan of hidden information in my solitaire games. If, if hidden information, I probably won't play it solo, but I like the cover. Thick box, of course. All right. This looks like we have, oh, we can market solitaire, so apparently some people are playing in solitaire. I don't know. I think this is to keep track of, yep, so you have this pad here so you can keep track of your different games, which is something that I also saw in uh, in Magnificent Style, Worthington's Deluxe Edition remake of that. Super cool. I really like having that to kind of keep track of your games. I know people, I've, I saw someone say, well, you could just do that yourself. Well, of course you could, but do you? Do you go get a note, piece of notebook paper and put it in? Some people may, but a lot of people I know don't. All right, so here are the cards. I believe these are the, yep, it's a German variable objective. Turnvale objective, you know, number two, number three, number one, Hitler's Autumn Mist. So, shortened version of the historical operation in seven turns, sudden death victory conditions. Okay. So, it just gives you, okay, yeah. So, basically, I don't know if it's, and again, I don't know if it's a random or you'd pick it. I, I haven't read the rules, but something that, you know, in a two player game, you'd probably do. Uh, playing in solitaire, mm, probably wouldn't. I mean, obviously, if you're playing it by yourself, you can play wherever you want, but I probably wouldn't anyway two rule books so if you are playing two player everyone gets their own rule book i like that let's go ahead and look at that rule book here it's only it's 12 pages and that's with you can see already a uh, movement and attack graphic example which i really like matt finish on the rule book here you're seeing some pictures unit types Air units, leaders, markers that are in the game. Get the sequence of play here. Okay, you have resource points. Yep, so it's definitely sounds like a kind of like the the not a hold the line. What is it? The uh, hold. Um, um, my brain's not working today. I actually worked today, so my apologies if uh, not as quick as usual. If I'm ever quick. Anyway, movement, combat. You can see examples. So I can see some example boxes. So that's good. All right, so some, ooh, so have some special dice, it looks like. More example box, supply. Yeah, I mean, we're looking, what, six to seven pages. We're already at victory conditions, so clearly the rules, yeah. Trade effects chart, optional rules, yeah. So the rules are six, seven pages, which is in line with the, uh, the expect, uh, expectation for, I thought it would maybe say right on here. I'm not going to flip over the, the uh, box. I don't want things flying all over, but... Was it? I can't. I can't remember the name. It's, it's driving me crazy now. I can't remember the name of the like series. The I know they're block driven because I actually have hold uh, hold fast. Yeah, I think it's hold fast. Is that what they're related to? Maybe. Anyway, um, so here we have some okay order battles for 
allies and the Germans. You can see there's not a ton of units involved. Nice thick card stock. Okay, is that a setup on the back maybe? Where their setup would be? So maybe something like that. Sorry, yep, German starting locations, allied starting locations. Okay, very nice. Looks good, nice thick card stock. Maybe set these up. If you had the counters on it, I was going to be able to flip them over, but hmm. once you're set up, you probably need them. All right, here we go. See these uh, counters here. Ooh. Look at this. Nice. Okay, so a couple counter sheets, three counter sheets maybe. These are some huge counters. Oh, my God. These are like inch counters? These are big, nice, thick counters, of course, individually punched, so, you know, individually die cut, so no uh, no need to clip or anything like that. Almost, you know, go back in the sprue, kind of. But look at these bad, pop right out, of course. Look at these bad boys. This is a huge counter. Can't wait to see that map, all those hexes on there. <laughs> the hexes be big enough for these counters? Awesome. Well, easy to read, <laughs> easy to read. You can read them, like, a mile away. Zoom in a little bit for you guys. You guys can kind of a little closer look. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Obviously, you saw double sided. All that jazz. Whoa, we're losing it. Okay. All right. Um, we'll cover that. Axis. Same big, beautiful kind of. Oh, hidden. Uh oh. There's some hidden markers. I'm a little worried for the solitaire perspective, but. And I haven't read the rules. I don't know. Okay, we have hidden for them. Hidden for the Germans, I should say. And then hidden for the allies. So, uh-oh. Could be trouble for us um, solitaire players. But you know what? We're going to take a look at it regardless. Um, I'm the type that I've played block games solo. I just don't put them... I just don't, like, put them, you know, away from me. I just... Everything faces towards me. Just lose that fog of war aspect. But pretty sure most of us have done that before with these games. When we've had to. So, alright. Let's see if I can... roll this map. Save that for last. All right, so here is the look at this cool counter tray. It's like cool plastic, like vacuum molded counter tray. Very nice. I'm gonna have the dice in there. So, yep, so there's a special dice. A regular D6. And then it's like some. So the blank side. X circle. I don't like I said, I haven't played, so don't judge me. I haven't played the game, I haven't read the rules. I don't I don't know what they mean, but looks nice. I think this will hold up well. Interesting. I have no idea how they affect like mechanics, uh, how the uh, combat mechanics or anything like that. So very interesting. But I love the custom uh, tray here. Hopefully all the counters fit in there. I imagine they do. Actually, let's uh, do a little test right now. Might as well, right? What do we got here? this allied unit oh look at that slides right in put them probably line them up put them in like that whatever you want beautiful beautiful all right that looks good let's check this map out guys that's what that's what we want to see right counters are big look good easily punched all the classic uh worthington at this point i'm sick of saying it their components are fantastic i'm sick of saying it i'm just kidding all right Ooh, -wee. look at this map. Okay. So you can almost fit all of it uh, on camera right now. So it is a full size map. Um, you know, obviously mounted. Looks good. The wrapped. You can see on the back here just a little bit. I'm not going to flip it up. Looks good. Let's see. A tiny little bit of back folding to get it laying down. Oh, almost perfect. It's just. Just a little bit up. You can't even tell on camera. I put a book on here. By tomorrow would be just fine. Looks good. A little up close, kind of. You guys can see it a little better. Can I pick it up? I, just, I don't feel like moving the camera. I'm feeling lazy today. I don't feel like getting the camera off the mount. Look at the map. Because it's mounted, I can just pick it right up. Look at that. I like that. I like that art design. Who did that? Mm, what does it say? Say on the map, should say. Worthington, where did the map? Where did the map art? I wanna know. I'm curious, I like it. Where is the, let's look at the rule book. I know you guys are probably like, no, no, no. Show us something else too. But I wanna, I wanna see who did the, the map art. Uh, 
Game design Dan Forney, creative director Sean Cook. Yes, but who did the map? Who did the map? Oh no, I can't find it. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. Apologies to whoever did it. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to like shortchange it here, but uh, I have no idea. Anyway, let's check something though. How about these counters fitting on here? Oh, perfect. There's some big hexes. Beautiful. That fits perfect. You guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see that. Look at that. From up there, I think the hex, the hex, uh, the lines around the hexes looks a little harder to see, but when you're actually looking at it, I think it's just the ca camera, the lighting. Because actually looking at it, it looks, it's pretty clear where the hexes are, is what I mean. But yeah, these are, these fit beautifully in there. You can see there's plenty of room. These are some big hexes. Very cool. All right. Um, I think that's it. We got the map, counters, tray, rule book. Yeah. This is it. Battle of the Bulls, 1944. Very, I'm not more interested than before, actually, to check, to really dig into this one and check this out. So, um, yeah, let me know you guys have played it before, especially if you played it solitaire. Let me know how well it, it solos. Very, very curious um, with the with some of those things and the hidden markers. I'm a little worried, but hey, you know what? As gamers will adapt, right? We always do. So, comment below. Let me know if you're interested in this one, if you've checked it out before. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, other than that, until next time, later, guys.